This video is sponsored by Babbel. Conceived at the turn of the century, the Zumwalt class destroyers promised unprecedented features. As a multi-purpose guided missile destroyer with stealth capabilities, the Zumwalt was designed for furtive missions, but unlike her predecessors, she was also crafted for land attacks. Zumwalt's anti-air and surface capabilities include the MK-57 vertical launching system and two 155mm advanced gun systems to provide naval support during land attacks. What's more, her sharp profile conceals 16,000 tons and disguises the massive destroyer as a small trawler, cleverly reflecting radar signatures. Nevertheless, while Zumwalt is accurately regarded as a technical marvel, she might prove too advanced for this century. Willkommen, Herr Kommandant. Welcome, Commander. Want to go even deeper into modern military history? Well, you're going to have to learn some German, especially if you want to dive into the World War II era. Click on the link in the description below and get started with Babbel, one of the top language learning apps in the world. You've always wanted to learn a second language and to show off your knowledge. Now is your chance. Since using Babbel, we've become more confident in navigating foreign languages especially German, to bring you historical details directly from primary source documents. We've also picked up tips and strategies on how to pronounce some of the crazy names, places, and weapons we encounter in our research. Babbel's speech recognition can help you do the same. Babbel is different from every other language learning app in the market, as every lesson is planned and narrated by real language teachers and linguistic experts, not computers or artificial intelligence. With a 20-day money-back guarantee, rest assured you will get the most bang for your buck. Babbel doesn't only teach German. It offers a total of 14 different languages, including Italian, French, Spanish, and Russian. For a limited time, Dark Seas viewers get a 60% discount on new subscriptions. Click on the link in the description below and start speaking a new language in only three weeks. Wir sehen uns in der App. See you in the app. A New Destroyer The idea of the new Zumwalt-class destroyer emerged in the mid-1990s. The design was born from the research and development DD-21 Land Attack Destroyer program to create the ultimate destroyer of the 21st century. After several years, the US Congress cut the program by half and in order to save it, was heavily reworked and renamed DDX, then changed to DDG-1000. In late 2005, the program entered the detailed design and integration phases. While Raytheon became Mission Systems Integrator, Northrop Grumman Ship Systems and General Dynamics Bath Ironworks worked together on the hull, mechanical, and electrical systems. Meanwhile, the advanced gun systems were built by BAE Systems. Nearly every major defense contractor was involved to some extent in the project, becoming the largest single line item in the Navy's budget. Moreover, a subcontractor from almost every state in the U.S. also participated in her development. Still, her development took some time to kick off, as funding did not arrive until 2008. As such, General Dynamics was contracted to build the very first destroyer of the class, which was intended to take the role of battleships. As guided missile destroyers, their main purpose is to provide anti-aircraft support. USS Zumwalt, the leader of her class, is the first ship named after Admiral Elmo Zumwalt, widely recognized for modernizing the U.S. Navy's fighting force. She was laid down in 2011 and launched two years later. Then, in early 2014, the vessel began her sea trials to evaluate her performance under adverse conditions. Within a year, she was preparing to join the Pacific Fleet, and after her commission in late 2016, she was sent to her home port in San Diego, California. Featuring a tumble-home hull that grows narrower above the waterline and a knife-like inverted bow, Zumwalt's configuration aimed to drastically reduce her radar cross-section. And it did. A Technical Marvel With a displacement of around 16,000 tons and 600 feet in length, 
the new destroyer is the largest ever built for the US Navy, and the largest one currently in the world. Yet her radar signature is akin to a small fishing boat. Not for nothing, her captain, James A. Kirk, expressed after the trials, quote, Zumwalt is today a technical marvel. When deployed, our nation will have a multi-mission destroyer with the stealth and combat power to take on the most challenging missions. The high-tech class was conceived from the beginning with multi-mission capabilities. Unlike previous destroyer classes that were designed for deep water combat, in addition to regular destroyer tasks ranging from anti-air and anti-surface missions to anti-submarine warfare, the Zumwalt class was assigned an entirely new purpose to support ground forces and land attacks. In terms of armament, the new destroyers feature a state-of-the-art weapons launcher, the MK-57 Vertical Launching System. This device was designed for sea, land, and air attacks, and the main armament showcases two 155mm guns with long-range capabilities of up to 63 nautical miles. Also, her Advanced Gun Systems, or AGS, was designed to fire long-range land attack projectiles, one of several land attack and ballistic projectiles. Unwittingly, however, they were the only munitions the guns could use. Finally, the vessel holds a spacious landing pad and hangar to accommodate three MQ-8B helicopter drones, or two MH-60R helicopters, all equipped with Hellfire anti-tank missiles, or torpedoes. Gadgets Zumwalt and her younger sisters, Michael Mansour and Lyndon B. Johnson, feature cutting-edge technologies that enable the DDG-1000's advanced capabilities. Plus, the ships are controlled by a total ship computing environment, a single encrypted network that runs all shipboard applications, making them accessible from any console on board. Likewise, the operations center includes portable computers that can be used by any crew member. Impressively, the lead ship has about 15,600 square feet specifically meant to house Linux servers to run the system. It also has electronic modular enclosures and an integrated undersea warfare system that include two sonar arrays in one automated, hull-mounted arrangement. Moreover, the capable dual-bandwidth sonar is useful for hunting down submarines. Also noteworthy, Sumwalt has an integrated power system that makes her an all-electric ship. Quiet and economical by design, the destroyer's power system generates 100% of the energy she requires to function and can reach up to 30 knots. Besides, her electrically driven motors and chilled exhaust further reduce Zumwalt's infrared and acoustic signatures. Powered by Rolls-Royce MT-30 gas turbines and Rolls-Royce RR4500 turbine generators, the destroyers produce around 78 megawatts. That power is similar to the energy generated by nuclear-powered aircraft carriers. As such, Zumwalt can not only sustain her entire system, but could even power a small city. Not ready. As impressive as she sounds, Zumwalt failed to deliver the initial promises more than a decade after her construction. Astonishingly, her design had not even been stabilized by 2009 when her construction began, leading to a Government Accountability Office report in 2018 that stated that not even half of her dozen key technologies were mature enough to function. In fact, the ships were officially delivered without combat systems. Overall, at the cost of $4.4 billion, it became the Navy's costliest destroyer at the time. This was twice as much as her predecessors, the Arleigh Burke class, regarded as the Navy's most powerful ships in inventory. Meanwhile, the research and development phases of the new class were highly expensive, costing no less than $22.4 billion for the three of them. Initially, there were to be a total of 32 Zumwalt-class destroyers, but the insanely high production costs reduced that amount to less than 10% of the original batch. Downgrades The state-of-the-art technologies installed on Zumwalt allow for a dramatic reduction in manning requirements. And while Zumwalt is 40% larger than her predecessors, she can be operated by a mere 158 crew members, plus a 28-person air detachment. Incidentally, the Navy had promised Congress that the DDG-1000s would only require a crew of 95 personnel. And although the complement exceeded what was promised, 
the new destroyers actually need half the crew of the older Arleigh Burke class. Still, several experts fear that the small complement could be a severe setback during real battles, as the trimmed crew could leave the destroyers with little redundancy. Ultimately, the new class brought significant problems. While their expensive suite of gadgets should account for a reliable design, the sisters have actually suffered from several equipment failures. In 2016, Zumwalt broke down in the Panama Canal, and Michael Mansur followed by failing her sea trials in 2017. Furthermore, the need to decrease costs led to crippling downgrades, such as degrading air search capabilities, thus saving $80 million per ship. Notably, as Military Watch magazine noted in 2018, the Zumwalts, quote, have almost entirely failed to fulfill the originally intended role of multi-purpose destroyer warships, while the scale of cost overruns alone brings the viability of the program into question, even if the destroyers were able to function as intended. Making matters worse, the destroyer's advanced gun system proved less than satisfactory. With two-thirds of her forecast range of 70 miles, her rocket-boosted LRLAP GPS-guided shells cost a prohibitive $800,000 each. That was almost as expensive as more precise cruise missiles that also have considerably longer ranges. As such, the unaffordable munitions were eventually cancelled, and Zumwalt was left with two mighty guns that couldn't fire. Limbo The long-range land attack projectile procurement was cancelled in 2016, and the Navy didn't devise a plan to replace the Zumwalt's only ammunition. Unfit to provide the naval gunfire support she was invented for, the Sea Service decided to repurpose the class to surface warfare. Following her disappointing performance, the Navy considered several possibilities for the class, which it had to cut down enormously. The Three Sisters could have become dedicated ship hunters, but as Military Watch magazine explained, that would have meant, quote, sacrificing complex anti-aircraft and anti-submarine capabilities for a specialized long-range anti-ship role. There were talks in 2018 to refit the class with nuclear cruise missiles, but with the proliferation of enemy weapons and the expansion of their fleets, the Navy is no longer concerned with facing weaker military opponents. The Navy's Commander of Operations, Admiral Mike Gilday, told Breaking Defense in February of 2021 that the Zumwalt-class ships would be the first to test the hypersonic technology. Then, in early 2022, the Sea Service settled to equip the ships with hypersonic missiles, a task that is expected to end in 2025. Lockheed Martin will see through the integration of the missiles in the vessels with the aid of military and aerospace electronics. For all their technological advances, Zumwalt and her class were perhaps too ambitious in the advent of the new millennium. Like journalist Sebastian Roblin put it, quote, Traditionally, warships are tailored to perform specific missions, but the cutting-edge Zumwalt has been a ship in search of a mission. Thank you for watching our video. Let us know in the comment section which language you'd like to learn with Babbel. Remember, Dark Seas subscribers get a one-of-a-kind offer with the top language learning app in the world. Learn one of 14 available languages in just three weeks, with up to 60% off your subscription.